Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to unbox this Chinese-made drone that I bought on the TeamU shopping site on Dad It Yourself. Alright, so I got this box from Timu, and if you haven't heard about Timu, it's the new pseudo Amazon shopping online website, uh, mostly for products made in China. And so this is my first purchase, kind of trying it out, not getting too risky with the money, but uh, here it is. It's a drone. Look at that. Open that drone up. And let's see what we got in here. It's a nice case, actually. Okay. Looks like the control. somewhere. We'll find out. Little drone. It looks like, I'd say like a DJI Mavic, but probably not as construction. I've never seen a Mavic, um, personally, but this is all plastic construction. There's no hard metal or anything here. This is all lightweight plastic. So, that's that. And then, looks like two battery packs in here and what else do we have we have some instructions some replacement blades in here dump these out uh -huh. these look like cell phone clips of some sort probably or something I'll look it up charney cord USB mini uh, screwdriver, and yeah, there's the extra blades right there, there's another set right there. Alright, well let's get this thing on the charger and then I'll read the instructions. So these little things were actually the blade protectors. So, they just clip on like this. Got landing legs. Oh, looks like two legs on the front, which is interesting. And these go this way and fold in. And the cool part about this, I think, is the blades go out by centrifugal force. So if they hit anything, they can fold in and potentially not snap off. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I charged the batteries overnight. Let's put the battery in there. So here's the battery pack, uh, USB-C, and it just kind of slides in the back like this, and it comes with two batteries, which is nice. That's it. So it tells me to search for this app right here, RCFBV. I found it in the Google Play Store, and we're going to go ahead and install it. The remote control requires three AAA batteries, which are not included, and I just put those in there.
So it's pretty easy to fly. Um, it drifts a little. I still have to do some fine tuning on the um, trimming. That's what we call it in flight, it's trimming. I did everything from the remote control. Uh, I haven't used the app yet. I'm gonna actually try the app and see if I can control it with the app now. Well, I'm connected because I have the camera and I can see that it's looking, but nothing seems to want to do anything. So I need a little more research with the app, but I'm going to take this outside with the remote and see if we can get a little flying in. Ooh, so this thing just took off. It went over that house over there, uh, drifting left and right, couldn't bring it back, and just spent the last 20 minutes looking for it. So I'm gonna work on tuning this thing a little bit better in some more controlled conditions, and then we're gonna try flying it again. Okay, so I was able to get some video that time, and I'll put that up on the screen right now so you can kind of see the resolution. It's hard to see looking at it on my phone. I still haven't figured out how to control it with the phone, but I'm going to keep working on that. But I keep running out of battery, so I'm going to let them charge for a little while. All right, so less than an hour of flying. I got the trimming all figured out. Um, this one's done. It's already done. As you can see, I've already pulled one of the propellers off and not because the propeller broke, but let me see if I can get in here a little closer and maybe focus for you. Um, right there, yeah. If you can see right here, there's some deformation on the thing because this motor completely torched itself. Uh, it melted. Um, I can't get this open to figure out what happened, but I have a feeling the wires are all burnt up and this motor doesn't turn anymore. And it's actually, it's hard to see, but it's tweaked it a little bit too. So this motor actually points forward. So when this thing flew, it would probably want to turn in this direction all the time as well. So that's done. $25 plus a couple bucks shipping. I think it was 30 and some change complete. And I got about an hour's worth of work out of it. So, uh, oh well, not a big deal. Um, would not recommend, don't buy it. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about this video, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notification. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right down here. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.